this month has been a remarkably dry July. But what's been really noticeable is the lead up to this month. In the last eight months, if you include much of the winter, the spring and much of summer, some of us have seen the driest spell since 1975-76. And together with this, that exceptional heat of last week, you might not be surprised to learn that some locations not only saw their driest spell for a number of years, but also some of the hottest weather on record. And some of those records go back to the 1700s, can you believe? Well, things are looking promising for some of us as we approach the weekend. Much warmer, temperatures up a few degrees. And for many of us, plenty of lovely sunshine together with mild, if slightly muggy nights. As we take a look at the way things look into the weekend, a split forecast, if you like. A system working its way in from the Atlantic, giving some rain to parts of Scotland, Northern England, Northern Ireland. The much needed rain across the south unlikely at this stage. In fact, temperatures on the rise. So we draw in some heat and humid air from the near continent and feeling quite stuffy in the next few nights once more. As for the next few hours, we've got some remnants of showery rain across parts of Northern England there, easing as the night wears on. Elsewhere dry and mild, temperatures not slipping too far at all in towns and cities. Just a few mist and murk patches through the west first thing. And tomorrow morning, a little grey and grotty across parts of central Scotland and Northern England, particularly through the Pennines there, a few showery outbreaks. But for the rest of us, it's looking promising. Plenty of blue sky, cheerful sunshine, lifting those temperatures even with a little cloud tomorrow with those showers through parts of eastern Scotland parts of the Pennines and North Wales it stays very warm even with a lack of sunshine here and a little more cloud highs of 27 28 degrees across the southeast as for Saturday we've got showery outbreaks for the north and west a bit of a breeze here fresher for Scotland warmer once more across the south and the east I'll take that. Oh, yeah, it's, it could be so much better, but so much worse. Yeah. It's looking good. Good enough. Lucy, <laughs> thank you very much indeed. Heatwave conditions for us through today and into the weekend. Temperatures for all of us well above those we're used to, with an amber extreme heat warning in place across the bulk of England and Wales. And here we'll see the highest temperatures across central and southern locations. This is the earliest satellite and radar picture, full-blown blue skies and strong August sunshine. Just a little more cloud cover through northern Scotland and around the North Sea coast there, but if anything, a little more comfortable elsewhere, soaring temperatures and searing heat. Close to 30 degrees across northern England, close to 34, 35 degrees across southern England. And for all of us, those temperatures are way higher than we're used to. Always cooler and fresher around the coast with the sea breeze. A warm evening ahead, late and low sunshine before dusk, like the last few evenings. And for many spots in urban areas further south, we retain today's heat and warmth overnight. So stuffy and muggy for sleeping. Where misty low cloud forms, a little cooler in rural spots. Very dry summer so far. Taking a look at this satellite picture from NASA taken around this time a year ago, our green pleasant land looking healthy and lush. We saw around average rainfall amounts this point last year. Fast forward a year, a very different scene. A huge swathe of Britain parched, tinder-like and dry, straw-like ground. Really remarkable, you can see this from space actually. And these are the reasons why Many of us have seen around 20% of the average July rainfall so far. And in parts of the South and the Southeast, that amount has been even lower. So as it stands, we're on track to seeing one of our driest Julys on record. There is some advice out there, but really we just need it to rain. And I've got all the details in the full forecast for you now. Well, it might be hard to believe, but we've had a dry winter across the UK. Cheltenham and Gloucestershire have seen only 72% of their average total winter rainfall. We've more than made up for it in the last few days, mind you, with a deluge of rain yesterday and another seven, eight millimetres of rain predicted for Cheltenham again tomorrow. A few showers knocking around early next week, but nothing too substantial. And then from the middle of next week, high pressure trying to nudge its way in just for a fleeting amount of time, but it should keep it mostly dry and mostly mild, not quite as chilly as it has been. As for next weekend and into festival week itself, things are looking just a little more interesting weather-wise. We could well see high pressure become our dominant weather feature. And if that's the case, we're looking at mostly dry, cold conditions. Frost isn't out of the question at this stage, 
but the good news is with the days getting longer and lighter this time of year with more daylight hours I don't think any frost will be hanging around that's it from me